Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Snowbreak Containment Zone video. And today I wanna to share you this video that was developed by the developers themselves. If we go over here, I'm on Billy Billy. This is their official uh, Billy Billy website, Dust White Restricted Area. This is basically you know, the, the weird butchered translation of Snow White Containment Zone. This is their official page. You see they got PVs here and stuff. And they recently uploaded this um, this video uh, for the Chinese New Year slash Valentine's event. I'm going to just shut the fuck up and let you guys watch this video for yourselves. And because this video is pretty spicy. I, I really like this video. This video is like amazing. Genshin could never do something like that. And even if they did, the whole English community would, especially on Twitter, they would flip their shit if Genshin ever did a video like this. But anyways, interesting and spicy video. I will have a link to it in the in the description below if you want it for research purposes. Anyways, I want to talk about Haru real quick since she is currently on Raid Up in Snowbreak Containment Zone. Haru is one of my favorite characters to play in Snowbreak Containment Zone. She's very fun. Her kit overall is just very, I don't know, it's just very fun to use. I would put Haru probably like in SS tier, maybe SSS tier, not because she's just fun to play, but she's just very good at what she does, and that is mob clearing. 95% of the gameplay in Snowbreak Containment Zone requires you to clear mobs, and Haru is very good at that. The main story campaign has nothing but mobs. Gigalink has nothing but mobs. The Underground Purge has tons of mobs. The Tactics Evaluation has mobs. And even the new Labyrinth mode, the Paradoxical Labyrinth, also has mobs in it. If you have Haru in your account, 95% of the content in Snowbreak Containment Zone will basically be nothing but just baby food to you because Haru does very well in that type of content. And since that's 90% of the gameplay, I would definitely highly recommend that you pull Haru, take the Haru pill. She looks very good as well. I'm telling you, Haru is very well worth the pull. Not to mention Snow Break, you do get a free five star. You most likely selected Yao or Fenny. So you already have a decent five star DPS for single target. Haru is very good at mob clearing. So I would recommend that you pull for Haru. The only content that Haru doesn't really excel as well as single target DPS characters is the Neural Simulation. But that's like 5% of the content in the game. You could still use her in Neural Simulation as well. I use her just fine and I still clear that shit just well. I know some people have been comparing Haru to Kadia and that's kind of nonsense because they both do different things. Kadia has a good single target DPS while Haru is a mob clearer. Snowbreak Containment Zone is a whole different game with or without Haru, in my honest opinion. She clears mobs so fucking fast, she makes 95% of the game very trivial. Developers might as well just change the name to fucking Haru Containment Zone because she makes 95% of the content so easy. Her standard skill, the Compensatory Justice, which sounds pretty badass by the way, she basically uses a sword to slash enemies and this is a ranged attack even though she uses a sword. This attack can attack up to 5 enemies in front of Haru. This skill can also attack enemies through walls, which is very good. Haru is the only character in the game so far that can attack enemies through walls and especially since this game can be a glitch fest sometimes if you have an enemy that's like stuck on the wall you can at least use haru's standard skill to well kill that enemy you can also kill enemies below you with the skill as well very nice skill not only does it clear mobs it can go through obstacles you can also basically spam the skill right i think you have at least up to five charges with this skill and whenever you kill an enemy you can get a charge back through one of her um neural skills this skill can also decrease the enemy's movement speed through the neural skills haru's burst triumphant body victorious blade is also another way to clear mobs basically does a big slash towards enemies in the wide area haru enters a state called the body as blade state basically during this state her 
a standard skill will not consume any skill points and you can basically spam the fuck out of her standard skill. You can also spam her ultimate as well because during this state she gains these points called the victory points. As soon as you use her ultimate you basically get 50 victory points and each second while she's in this state passes she will lose one victory point and she uses her ultimate again it will cost you 15 victory points this type of damage is called final blow if you happen to use the last 15 of her victory points she basically loses the body as blade state one of her neural skills will let her gain one victory point whenever her final blow which is you know her ultimate skill it's an enemy. You can only get a max of five victory points from this way though. Now, I hardly use her standard skill while I'm in the body as blade state because the ultimate skill, basically not only does it deal a lot of fucking damage for one thing, but it can also knock back enemies. So it is a way to crowd control enemies in a way. So I don't really have that much experience using her standard skill while in her body as blade state because I just think the ultimate is just much better. Also those new enemies that like to summon barriers and shit, those are annoying as fuck and I would rather just use her ultimate while dealing with those enemies so i can knock them back and prevent them from spamming their barriers and shit i'm gonna just go briefly go over haru's manifestations m1 basically lets her use her ultimate without any cost her ultimate will just cost zero this can only apply every 600 seconds i used to talk a lot of mad shit about this m1 because when haru first came out we didn't have any long gameplay modes that would require you to wait 600 seconds but with this new roguelike mode that's obviously going to last more than 600 seconds so her m1 in this roguelike mode is definitely going to be pretty useful haru will basically be able to use her ultimate at zero cost for the first time which is pretty nice and since her ultimate only costs 50 you know she's not gonna have too much trouble getting back to her ultimate again and the fact that you have her m1 basically means you get a free you know pass at her ultimate at m1 whenever haru uses her standard skill she will gain a five percent attack boost for five seconds which is you know pretty nice more attack means more damage m3 haru gains this thing called the iron of body state now I still don't know what this does to this day. I'm just gonna assume that it increases her defense whenever she uses her standard skill. It's not like the game tells you anywhere what the fuck Iron Body does. M4 basically increases the damage of her standard skill and also decreases the cooldown. At M5, when Haru's in the body as blade state, the lower the enemy's HP, the more damage Haru will do while in the state which is pretty damn good. So in conclusion, you know, I would definitely suggest you pull Haru because 95% of the content of this game requires you to clear mobs. And since Haru is a very good mob killer, I definitely suggest you pull Haru. In fact, I think Haru is probably a must pull for Snowbreak Containment Zone, or in this case, Haru Containment Zone. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. Let me know what you guys think about Haru, about the beginning of this video. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys later. Bye bye now. Come again soon.